Numbers from the Census Bureau show Hayes County is the fourth fastest growing county in the United States, and St. Marcus is bearing the brunt of that growth. The city commissioned a sustainability committee to ensure that San Marcos can handle the growth in a way that's environmentally friendly, and the committee already has a big challenge on its hands. KXAN's Gary Cooper explains. All of this land, all 700 acres of it, will be home to an industrial park that the city of San Marcos says will bring 2,500 jobs. However, it'll be 1,200 feet from the San Marcos River. That's concerning to some, especially for Dr. Hoca Marquez. The residents in that area already get flooded without this huge 700 acre development. Dr. Marquez is on the city council and the newly formed sustainability committee. The point is not to reinvent the wheel. The point is not for us to explore things that are new, rather to work with organizations that are already established. She was at the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting where engineers for the new development laid out part of their plan to address flood concerns. A critical part of the plan would be to reroute a stream that feeds into the San Marcos River. The city requires the plan to handle biblical rains. After the project improvements are constructed, you know, the building, the parking lot, that the runoff for the two year, the 10 year, 25 year and 100 year storms must be less than or equal to what it was prior to development. Yes, it's important. Dr. Marquez says issues like this is why the sustainability committee was created. Uh, this is a great way for us to come together and start putting things into practice and things into policy. So San Marcos and its river can handle what's in the near future. The developers still have to apply for various permits with the city before construction can begin. But tonight they got off to a good start. The Planning and Zoning Commission approved their watershed protection plan. In San Marcos, Gary Cooper, KXAN News.